Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am at Alphalete Gym in Stafford, Texas. Going to do a quick update video uh, between AT&T, Verizon, and Incorporate T-Mobile this time. So I'm going to do the big three in the parking lot of Alphalete Gym to see how not only their 5G network does here, but also compare it to their LTE networks. Because as most of you know, uh, Verizon is uh, stating that you should turn off 5G to save battery, quote unquote. But I've also noticed in a lot of areas uh, for their low band 5G, their LTE is actually faster. So I want to see if the same holds true for AT&T or T-Mobile. So stick around and let's check it out. All right, guys, first up, AT&T on the left, showcasing 5G for the speed test, which is their low band 5G. And then T-Mobile, uh, showcasing 5G as well. Uh, not sure if this is low band or if this is uh, N41, but I will check that out after the speed test. So without further ado, let's see AT&T versus T-Mobile. All right, AT&T 18.2 download, 2.02 upload, T-Mobile 133 download, 4.36 upload, and T-Mobile is rocking their N41 band, if you see right here where I'm touching. So they do have N41 here. As you can see, I'm right in front of Alpha Elite Gym. All right, now Verizon, which is showcasing 5G, which is their low band 5G. All right, Verizon coming in at 45.9 download, 12.9 upload. So Verizon with the best upload speed on their 5G network here at Alpha Elite Gym. And then T-Mobile coming in as the winner on the 5G download speed. Now let's switch over to LTE and see if things change. All right, guys, so now you can see on AT&T on the left, I have it selected to LTE and on T-Mobile I also have it selected only to LTE so now let's see if these speeds change at all All right, so uh, AT&T pretty consistent. So this time on LTE, we got 17.7 download, 2.39 upload, uh, which is very close to the 5G numbers, that, which were 18 and four, I or 18 and two, I believe. And then T-Mobile coming in this time on LTE, 79.1 download, 7.02 on the upload. So pretty drastic there as their download speed was 133 and their upload speed was 4. So a little bit better upload speed on the LTE network and a little bit uh, lower speed on the on the download on their LTE network. 
All right, so now let's compare Verizon LTE. All right, guys, the same cadence here. As you can see on Verizon, I have LTE selected. Now let's see what kind of speeds we get versus the previous numbers. All right, so this time Verizon gets on their LTE network, they get 49 download, 15.6 upload. I should have just done this last time, make it easier. So as you can see, very, very consistent from 5G low band to LTE on Verizon. Their 5G was 45.9, their LTE 49, so LTE is a little bit faster. And their 5G upload was 12.9, their LTE upload 15.6. So. LTE is faster on both for Verizon. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm going to head in, get a workout in, uh, do the same thing when I come outside and see if anything changes, uh, only because it's 7.45 right now in the morning. So when I'm done, we're closer to 9 o'clock. We'll see if there's more people up on the network, if there's any congestion issues or whatnot. So uh, that's round one this morning. Now let's fast forward and see what it looks like in about an hour and 15 minutes. All right, guys, just got done with the workout. It's been exactly an hour and like five minutes. I'm gonna do uh, the same speed tests and see uh, if anything changes. So first we'll do 5G and then we'll do LTE to get a pretty solid comparison. The time right now was 8.50 a.m. Giddy up. All right, guys, on the left, AT&T showcasing 5G. As you can see there, T-Mobile on the right, also showing 5G. So here we go. Okay, that's interesting, look at that. Wow. So T-Mobile timed out, aired out, not sure why. So AT&T much lower performance a little bit later in the day at 9 a.m. or close to 9 a.m. Uh, coming in at 9.15 on the download and 0 0.36 on the upload which is deplorable on their low band 5G network here at Alpha Elite in Stafford, Texas. Uh, T-Mobile pretty consistent coming in at 143 on the download and 2.18 on the upload so upload speeds are just terrible here all the way around um, but T-Mobile definitely a consistent player, at least in the morning, um, here at Alpha Elite. Now let's check out Verizon and see how they compare. All right, guys, now we got Verizon showing 5G, as you can see, 5G low band, that is. All right, Verizon pretty consistent speeds as before, this time coming in at 33.2 download, 13 on the upload. So Verizon is still the best upload speed uh, here at Alpha Elite, and T-Mobile is still the best download speed, at least from a 5G network standpoint.
so now let's flip over to LTE and see how things change. All right, guys, AT&T on the left, showing LTE, T-Mobile on the right. Uh, so we got LTE up here, and it says 5G down here. Just to verify, so you all know that I switched it off right here. There is no 5G turned on right now, so maybe that'll change when we start the test here. Let's find out. All right, guys, so on LTE, AT&T, 7.12 download, 2.01 upload. T-Mobile, 84.7 download, 7.5 upload. So overall, looking at AT&T's results from this morning, uh, as you can see here, I'll try to crop this just so I get today's results. Bam. So we had 18.2 this morning on download speed on 5G compared to 17 on LTE this morning. And that went to a 9.15 on 5G and a 7.12 on LTE. So download speeds definitely went down in one hour's time. Um, you look at the upload speeds this morning on 5G, 2.02 .02 upload on LTE, 2.39 upload. And then a little over an hour later, 0 0.36 upload on 5G, 2.00 upload on LTE. So all around just bad. <laughs> but there you can see uh, some performance in terms of the difference between 7.40ish to roughly 9 a.m. And then T-Mobile, same cadence. So this morning we had, you see the timestamps there too. 7.39 was the first one. So 133 download on 5G this morning at 7.39, and then 79.1 download on LTE, even though the indicator says 5G there, I turned off the 5G uh, capability. So some pretty drastic performance. And then an hour later, you look at 5G, 143 download, very consistent, and then LTE, 84.7 download. So all in all, I would say T-Mobile is very consistent in terms of uh, network congestion because the, the, you know, the numbers don't lie. They're very consistent there. Looking at uploads this morning on 5G, 4.36. On LTE, 7.02. And then fast forward a little over an hour later on 5G, 2.18. And then LTE, 7.50. So again, pretty consistent in terms of overall speeds and in terms of what to expect. This is the 5G if it turns on maybe that's why 5g is on but it's super in and out here on verizon so we'll just give it a run and see if it updates itself here All right, even though 5G's turned on, they just ran a LTE speed test. We've got 23.7 download, 15 on the upload. And comparing results here, um, we had 5G this morning, and I do want to show you guys, I do have it turned on. I have it 5G on, so not auto, but legit on. Let's try to go to airplane mode. See if we can get it to kick back on. Come on, Verizon, whenever you're ready. All right, well, I'm not gonna sit here and, and wait for this thing to try to find 5G, but as you can see, in terms of the results for Verizon, 
uh, this morning at 7.41, we had 45.9 on the download on 5G versus 49 on the download on LTE. Um, and then fast forward a little over an hour later, 33.2 on LTE and then 23.7 on LTE. So uh, there's definite congestion issues here. I can tell you from experience just all over Houston, especially the suburbs of Houston, there is extreme congestion issues uh, with, with uh, Verizon. On the upload side, this morning we had 12.9 upload on 5G versus 15.6 upload on LTE. And then fast forward, we have, and then fast forward an hour, a little over an hour later, we have 13.0 on upload and 15.0 on upload, both on LTE. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Um, overall, hands down, I would give this to T-Mobile. Uh, just extremely consistent, both on the download and upload side, both 5G and LTE. So regardless of what kind of device you have, whether it's 5G capable or not, you're gonna have pretty solid uh, speeds here and reliability. I didn't do any speed tests inside just because I didn't want to carry three phones in while I was working out. Um, but if you guys want to see more in-building uh, speed tests, just let me know and I can I can incorporate those as well. But this gives you a good idea in terms of what to expect if you're ever at Alpha Elite Gym. So guys, please, as always, like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, take care and peace out.